could even send. Okay, if this works, I'm pretty... Oh, we should also do repeat until... And then it's actually really good, I think. It's like a, a big improvement. So we, we fixed... Um, actually, errors showing up, they were uh, lying to us before. And now they are right in Toast. Because I edited Toast. We... Um, we fixed that uh, thrashing, like... It, it pushed up the entire farm. We moved it up here nicely and we also made uh, well we're checking now if the fields are being highlighted if there are errors or not uh, and then we also did a bunch of stuff with hypernet but uh i fucked up my setup I fucked up my setup i tend to separate synchronous pure possibly with injection and asynchronous rotation if based on computers no uh, mm, validation is pure. Oh right, you mean like that? Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, at the moment I'm doing no asynchronous stuff because I can't. <laughs> like, um, I probably, I want to have that availability. I want to have that capability, but I can't at the moment. And doing that will be a pain in the ass to implement as well. I need to make a, I need to introduce a polymorphic monad mon to that um, setting stack, and it will make everything annoying. Or I may, I may maybe I'll use like a free monad kind of thing. Uh, still, it will be mon monadic. So, yeah. The thing about is that in synchronous parts, you always have to assume it's non-deterministic, and you may change after you validate it. So you care about synchronization and transactions. Yeah. Uh, I'm only doing synchronous stuff right now. Like I'm not uh, using any I/O, any any uh, side effects. You you you're talking about synchron uh, oh? synchronization? Synchronous asynchronous, but pure code is excellent for asynchronization. That's why I'm getting confused by it. Like, synchronous asynchronous? Oh. But you just mean like uh, I.O. with the server, like monadic stuff. Gross. Side effects. But yeah, I guess in JavaScript land you would also do that asynchronously. Our time is in past. Why didn't it work? Did we refresh? It should work. Is it not doing foundation? Ta -da -ta 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 -ta. Slow as computer, slow as computer. You can look at the new uh, composition manager I use. Yay! What's it called? Compass or something? No. It was a. Uh, uh. Oh. Yeah, I'm talking about something like as the server something based on the answer assumption to can then validate. Then submit. Yeah, it's a fucking pain. He has to do all this shit, man. This is exactly pure unless you. you well, it would never be pure if you need to do server interaction. Like this, uh, uh, edge case. And if I want to set it up, I'm gonna fix reflex first. Like I'm gonna fix reflex servant first. The, the way it's currently modeled, it's just f uh, so annoying to use. And I had a chat with a guy that made Servant Reflex, and uh, he basically gave me the green light and just do whatever, do, do whatever the fuck you want, he said. Uh, here's like a half completed implementation, go go work with that. So um, I'm looking at that now. But, but it's a lot of uh, type level hackery around, because you know it's, it's Servant. And I'm not sure if that's a good idea to do again the stream. Although last time I think type level translation was kind of... Uh... What the fuck? What is your... What is your Z, Z index? I think I fi I thought I fixed that. 
Uh, other thing is, this is not fixed. Is it because the it only fires after collecting? Yeah. So it doesn't do the validation based on uh, push events. This is actually a bug in my uh, library then. It should also validate that. The value just gets set. And it bypasses the entire thing. We get the event to push. We don't do the validation step. Now I say it like this, because I like to purely describe the environment of data in three months. Which then gets a value bit impurely by a separate subsystem. Now we can use, use monads, right? Uh, I mean, like, uh, the, the Haskell, it, 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 like, that is handled, like, <laughs> there's, there's no way you have to do this. There's no, no escape hatch. As long, unless you use unsafe performer error or something. Decouple this. I see nothing about service. Right, you mean like more like an event flow kind of thing. But that's uh, what we, like that's kind of what we have with um, servant client. I think. It's... Uh, like reflex is not really free monad, it's it's something else. So at the moment we have um, like the data, which is put in separate dynamics, and then the event to fire it. Uh, what what I'm looking at is uh, instead of having this data being a separate dynamic, it's just being put inside an event like that. And the difference is. Um, we don't need to provide a default data, which makes it a lot easier to use. Uh, so like at the moment, my code is littered with like default implementations of like uh, posts and whatever. And those shouldn't even exist because this is just set up. Uh, well, like it make, uh, I looked at the servant reflex code and it actually makes a lot of sense in uh, re a relation to servant. Because what you do with servant, you're slowly building out a function. And then returning that uh, function type back. Uh, so that makes sense. But for reflex, it's, it, it's not very good to use it like this. Anyway, this is like your modeling of pureness, the event stuff, I think. Multiple interpreters that run transactions eventually, consistent server side or optimization client side with the same code for the constraint. Oh, um, servant client, yeah. Uh, I have some, I have some validation stuff shared as well, but I haven't looked too much on it in, into it because validation, uh, it's only interesting for like my core, core thing, right? The planning. That's that's the big one. I want to have good validation on this. It's really important. Um, I'm not gonna do good validation on like uh, registering of employees or updating employees. I don't, I don't fucking care. Emailing? What what what, what do we validate on that? There's more stuff. There's also like reservations and whatever. Uh, it's all kind of crappy. Like this is the only good one, really. And I think that's just about it. Not all not not all code is equal, you know. I have a, a minimum level of quality, which is basically enforced by using Haskell, and that's about it. Yeah, we need to fix that bug. This um, data input. Dependency hell and build a less feature rich base. Dependency hell. Fucking dependency hell. <laughs> I'm so happy it's passed me. I'm so happy. Oh.
Yeah, you know what I'm happy about? Like, it also gave me the opportunity to write some blog posts. Uh, and, like, actually improve, you know, dependency health for future people. Rather than just me. Like, that's at least a productive dependency health. Although, like, it was not even uh, tightly related to fixing. Actually, that would be interesting uh, to write about. How to fix all those fucking issues. I only write blog about things that really annoy me. <laughs> and it works great, because those kind of things... You're happy you can find those uh, solutions to those kind of things. <laughs> uh, dependency hell is definitely one of them. I, I really wouldn't know what to say. About that, so just jerk all the versions around until it works. Mm. Anyway, this is the broken thing on the data input. And what happens is we at the moment we're getting let's see getting dynamic t maybe. Uh, we use that dynamic t to update the initial value. And see how it's a problem in all type of coupled languages, buffer module systems. Also a problem in JavaScript. Except you, you wouldn't get... Well, like, you, you get... You basically get the hell at the later phase. Uh, where you get bugs instead of... Uh, type errors. And we didn't even get that many type errors. We only got one type error. It was mostly just cobble. That's the, that's, that's the thing that's amazing. It was like Kabul and Nix that were, they were the, the big, big, big issues. And like unit tests failing. People writing unit tests. It's just a pain in the ass because it doesn't work well with Reflex. Or like a GTGS. <laughs> so it's not... My hell was around... Uh, like 90% of it was the same. And there was also the, the weird issue with. Um, that was it like a socket thing or something? It, it, it wanted to. It, it was like it, it, did, it disabled it on my build for some reason. And then, like, later I upgraded and suddenly it worked. I have no idea why. That's so weird. That's like, you know, four hours of your life. Just, just that one thing, one little thing. It's just such a waste. Such a waste. I could have, I could, I could have done something fun. That's, that's, <laughs> that's what bothers me. Oh, by the way, we have the emoticons. JavaScript libraries are mostly designed to tightly couple it as part of the problem. Oh, uh, tightly, oh right, uh, tightly couple languages. Right, right. I have to use Monteco. Yuppie, I mean. <laughs> Ray. I'm not gonna make any more. Unless, like, someone else decides to step higher level or whatever. But, uh. What pain he has to make as well. I'm not sure how happy you should be about this. But, there it is. Lumi doesn't care about if I think about the multi <laughs> Right, that's like the, the wrong person to tell us to. <laughs> but I made it. I did, I did my duty. That's It's more about that. Um, right, we should fix that. Why aren't you doing validation? Why does 3 not grow? You should have talked to Tussauer. To Sorry, I didn't even hear. Or like Skybro. You also appreciate that, I think. Hmm. Where is validation even happening? Uh, validation. Valid. Is valid. That is valid. Right, that is valid. 
Hospitality event. Are you updating? Oh, we're only doing this. And that is valid, indeed. It's almost Dutch. This is Dutch. Uh, it's a valid event. That is valid. And we can also do this on any update. Any update? So we select lose focus well. We only do a validation if I'm thinking like should I like I did this intentionally not showing the uh, validation until you actually select something because otherwise you would load the, the um, app and everything would be validated which means that nothing is validated what I'm thinking right now is can I um, hook into this thing as well like uh, get the events out of this Usually I have dirty flags for that. Um, no, we can just use uh, focus, uh, the event from focus, right? That's not a problem. I'm just uh, like, uh, <laughs> dirty flags. How oh, would you do dirty flags? Per field and then propagate it for the whole world. Where there is you know, our relation. I'm just thinking, hmm, propagate per field. Whole form. Uh, I just used the on a loose focus event to start validation. Which is like a really nice solution because uh, you would only get validation once you actually start using the form. Hey Jitaro, what's up? <laughs> yeah, I uh I had to do other things. I think hell was last stream Tuesday. Thursday Literally Wednesday. Or was it hell Wednesday? I don't know, I forgot. I, I have it on record though, so. Uh, how's Japan? Um, woken up now, early, early in the morning. Cool, you can watch my stream. <laughs> Thanks for that, doing that. Very early. I'm not really sure how to apply dirty flags per field. I think on the loose focus is a really nice solution, kind of. At least, well, you know, I get these events from Reflex, so why not play with them? But yeah, maybe it's a good idea to add a flag. Well, we can just try it and see what happens. I don't think I'm using those many that many updates. We will get the error message anyway. We will get the error message anyway if we start selecting in the time. So we might as well indicate it in the form where you can fix it. Therefore we want to do it there, but we don't probably don't want to do it everywhere. So maybe we want to add another settings field like Lumi is saying. Dirty flag. It's update. It's so hard rain and cool today in Tokyo. Oh, it sucks, man. We uh, we had rain today also here. Uh, but it didn't matter because I was programming all day. So, yeah. Good times. I, I got the program. Hooray. Yes, yeah, so I like to think of UI in terms of reactive compute graphs. Yeah, I tend to avoid notation of events. It's a variable so that I can get notified when their value changes. That's an event. You get notified when a variable changes. That's like literally the reflex uh, way of doing events. 